So in this video, we are going to go over an ICT trending market trading strategy, which uses three very simple yet very important concepts in trading. And those are going to be number one, liquidity, number two, timing, and number three, fair value gaps or order blocks. It depends which ones you guys prefer um, and which one you're essentially akin to. So um, as you can see, I've drawn out an example of a market. So this market, as you can see, quite clearly is trending to the downside. And then there's a very interesting piece of price action over here. So this is just normal trend. And then we got uh, this you can say consolidation phase or price just being choppy or building liquidity. Now, the clear part here is that we have liquidity built there. OK, so that's the liquidity area. That's the first box essentially ticked off. Now, the second one is timing and where timing comes into this is essentially what we're going to see is we're going to see either let's say this area here. And let's say that this area here is the Asian session. Well, we're going to see that there's liquidity built up during the age session or the London session. OK, but it's predominantly predominantly going to be the Asian session. Now, the reason why this is important is because, I mean, normally I think on my channel, you've seen videos around the Asian liquidity sweep system that I trade. And that's very simple. And that's just looking at the Asian session like this. Then you got price action and we've got liquidity built up. Then we get the purge of liquidity and then price targets the other side of the session, right? Now, the difference here is this is more on 15 minute structure and this is more intraday as well. So we could have the liquidity built up on one day and then price comes and takes it on another day or you know a couple of days down the line or maybe even a week down the line if we if we get a setup like that. But essentially what happens with this um, with this trading strategy is this. So once we've got the liquidity built up as we have here, and once we have identified an Asian session that hasn't been taken uh, from a high or low perspective. So obviously in this example, it's the high that's been um, you know, left from a liquidity standpoint. Then we know that price is at some point going to come back and take this, especially since we have, you know, um, equal highs or or some sort of um, liquidity being built up, including the Asian session. It's very important because the Asian session here is really going to help us understand that there's actually a lot of liquidity here. And if there wasn't the Asian session, then, it, you know, it's just um, average equal highs sort of thing. So how does it work then? So very simply, what's going to happen is once we've got this identified, we're going to just wait and it's going to be a type of trading system and trading strategy from ICT that is pre prepared so it's planned out so once we have this we can you know set alerts that when price comes to a certain area we can start to look to, to take a trade so when price makes this move down and essentially confirms that yep we're looking to move down and then it starts to push up we know that this liquidity is going to get taken and once this buy side liquidity is taken we want to start looking within this leg or even this leg it doesn't really matter um, but we want to be looking for key areas to sell from so whether that's an order block that hasn't been uh, tapped into yet or if that's a fair value gap that hasn't been essentially filled we will be looking for price to come into that area and then we can take a trade now from an entry perspective this is completely up to you sometimes you'll have um, price action such that you just have to take it from the 15 minute time frame so it's like a 15 minute time frame one time frame type of strategy but what we can also find, um, and this is what I find very often, is you'll end up refining this area on the five minute time frame. So 15 minute time frame for structure and looking for liquidity and then looking for that initial area where you'd expect to sell from or buy from, depending if it's a, a buy setup or a sell setup. Um, but then you want to be dropping down to the five minute time frame to look to take a, a, a trade. These can be, you know, literally as simple as set a limit order set your stop loss and then take the trade targeting a low or a fair value gap or another order block in the opposite direction um, or it's going to be um, a little bit more complicated and that's when price comes into this fair value gap or order block and then you're going to look for something like this where price comes in creates a low breaks that low and then we have a order block or fair value gap within this leg here that we can then sell from and take price to the downside. What are the benefits of taking it from this second entry method um, compared to, to 
to just taking it from here like this so let me just quickly show you so obviously this is um this is made up but we can see really clearly from the risk reward ratio which is 7.32 to 13.7 if you take it from this um or with this entry drill you're going to get a better risk to reward and you're going to get a smaller stop loss and therefore obviously you, you'll be able to essentially get more um, out of the trade whereas in this scenario you're not going to be able to but the the difference is if you do try and take trades all the time with this entry setup the problem you're going to have is you're going to start to miss a lot of trades and that's obviously something that we're, we're not looking to, to do we just want to be able to set forget price comes in taps you in and then you know goes off and hit your hit your take profit so that's essentially the premise of the trade now let's go into uh, an example of this recently make sure you go to simulationfx.co.uk and enter your email address just here to stay up to date with everything that i'm doing including to stay up to date with the new trading software i'll be releasing very very soon now let's get back to the video okay so let's have a look at this example so this is euro usd on the 15 minute time frame essentially what we're going to be looking for is an asian session range but first we want to you know confirm that the trend is down and on the 15 minute we can see at least you know the trend is uh moving down so now we we know we'll be looking for um sell trades if we look into this uh this area here we have an asian session range here that we can see we did spike it and take the liquidity that was built there but then we've now left behind you know equals here but we also have an asian session here that just you know is um is let's say would be live price action now if we move across now what we want to be doing is once we've identified where the asian session high is we want to be looking and dropping down to the five minute time frame to see if do we have any order blocks there and we can clearly see we have one right here so if i just highlight that and that's above the Asian session range we know that this is an area we can actually look to sell from right and if i look i can see quite clearly we have the liquidity so out of those three checklists we've got liquidity set we've got timing set because the Asian session is there and we're coming into the london session or the new york session to take the trade and then we have an order block or fair value gap so even if you want to take it from fair value gap from here to here you could take it from there but i just prefer um order blocks uh, from this strategy but what you'll notice is that if you do this um repetitively you'll notice that because you're entering from order blocks there'll be a slight um you know number of times where you will miss the trade because it'll just react off of the fair value gap instead of the order block but essentially that's what we have there and all we have to really do now is because we've ticked essentially all three is we can just set our trade so the high there is 2.8 let's put it to 3.3 give it 0.5 for spread then we're going to target a one to five because just that's just what i like doing and if i go ahead we should get tapped in at some point now what's very uh, important is we want to be very careful of time so that's the london session that's just happened and we can see that price is pushing away we don't want to be entered into this trade outside of the new york session in terms of um the new york sessions already happened and then there's not going to be any volume until get essentially the Asian session so we only enter from here to here basically we want to be in the trade from from these three sessions one well one and two and then maybe sometimes you'll get it in the Asian session as well so let's just look there we go we get tapped in we get a fair amount of drawdown to be fair um, and then if I just play it there we're out of the trade nice one to five trade done and dusted now if you were eagle eyed you would be able to to spot like i mentioned before we actually have liquidity here now if i zoom out a bit because the trend is down we could actually look if i just jump to the 15 minutes so it's a bit more clearer to see if there's any order blocks over here so if i just highlight this area actually for now so it's bound to be something within this area here jump down to the five minute find it a bit more oh that's actually going to be the area so that's actually another trade that could you know in the in the coming week 
could uh, be something that I would be looking at taking a trade from. So if I got back to the 15 minute time frame and I just fast forwarded to where price actually is now, we can see price is pushing towards and starting to take that uh, liquidity built up here and then we could potentially get a reaction from there. Now if you're looking to take this trade as well the way I am, what I would say is from this trade look for a reaction, so an entry like this um to take it and just take a cool one to five out the market and then that's it you're done so anyways um that's the ict trending market trading strategy hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions put a comment below and if not i'll see you in the next video